Before I get started, let me introduce myself. My name is Alexis Alexander, and I'm the DE coordinator at Merritt College. I'm also an instructional designer and an OEI course reviewer. In other words, I know how to play poker. I'm looking forward to walking you through Section C of the OEI course design rubric, and I promise it'll be a smooth ride. As we go along with these videos, if at some point you feel like you just can't hang on, remember, you can pause the video, rewind, or just start over. Section C is all about assessment, as I've already mentioned. Specifically, Section C reads, Assessment. Assessment focuses on instructional activities designed to measure progress toward learning outcomes, provide feedback to students and instructor, and or enable grade assignment. This section of the rubric looks at the quality and type of student assessments within the course and if the assessments that are being used are actually measuring what they are meant to measure. Section C has two parts. The first part of Section C looks at expectations, which means expectations that the teacher has of the students, and also how the teacher can do the best possible job to help students to understand what they are being asked to do in assignments and any other class projects. This section includes an area that I feel is very important for student understanding, clear instructions from the teacher to the student on assignments and other types of assessment. In this section, we will also be talking about rubrics and other ways for teachers to communicate course expectations. I will cover section C1 in detail in the next video. The second part of section C is focused on assessment design. This section is a bit more complex than section one with more areas to cover. In this section, we will be looking at specific types of assessment and how different types of assessment activities promote different types of higher order thinking in students. This section will also cover self-assessment and how opportunities for self-assessment can help students learn. I will cover section C2 in the third video in this series. Okay, that's it for this overview of section C. On to video two.